Welcome to part four, the last part of this mini-series that showcases the new collaboration drops from Norman Villalta for the Noble Shoe. And today we have the final one, which is these chaka boots, what we call the Robert model chaka boots. It is also made in grain patina. It is absolutely stunning model uh, with a lot of nice little details here and there. A very nice last, of course, Labram soles, perfect for pretty much everyday casual environment. And I am going to talk all about it in the close-up now. And let's finish up the close-ups with the Robert Chaka boot. A classic Chaka boot with two eyelets, usually they come in two or three. And of course, most Chaka boots will have a plain toe design. So there are not many pieces to the Chaka boot, to a classic one. There is the top, there is the back, and, you know, the back seam at the back, which is very, very discreet, as you can see. And this chaka boot shares some similarities with the Haring boot from the last video, because this one is also Weinheimer pebble grain, but this one is a bit of more of a dark caramel patina. So it is a mix of uh, mid brown with a little bit of uh, reddish hues. It's a very nice, tasteful, elegant design. And we have the soft square last here, to make it a bit more elegant. And of course, on top, we have a midsole and a Vibram studded sole at the bottom. You can see, so there's no stitching. It's a very, very clean line, very beautiful shoe. And there's not so much to talk about when it comes to chaka boots, but I chose not to have any belt loops here, any loops, so, you know, the trousers won't get stuck here. And they're still very, still very easy to put on. And there are a few design details that go around the shoe. For example, a bit of uh, oh, some uh, broked holes here to create a bit of a star and just a little bit of uh, Norman touches apart from the actual design and last. And of course, very nice profile. Uh, this is a shoe that is very easy to match and wear. And you can just pop them up and go for a Friday stroll or a Friday at work or even dress them up a bit with uh, some uh, chinos and some sport coats. Very nice, as you can see. Uh, I think the soft square last works really well with this model and it's all down to Norman's designs. Of course, very nice, very stable shoe. And overall, very, very satisfied with this and I expect it to be a hit because this is a staple that should be in the man's wardrobe. And of course, they come with shoe trees. And that's the end of the close-up, so let's move on. So that was it. Uh, we talked about the Robert. I showed you everything that it was to show. Uh, this is a nice classic model that is easy to use, easy to wear, easy to match. And it is a bit dressier in the last. Uh, and the color, which hand-finished, it is a beautiful leather and a beauty will age beautifully. So that was the Robert, which is available right now at uh, the Noble Shoe in multiple sizes until those sizes are gone because this is a capsule collection with limited sizes and uh, availability. The price for this one is around uh, $1,150 US dollars, give or take, uh, depends on the exchange rate. And of course, it comes with uh, shoe trees and free international shipping. You will only find it at the Noble Shoe. You will find this model, but in a different configuration at uh, Norman's website. And uh, I would say for the sizing, because this is back on the shop square last, uh, you should say your regular UK sizing, such as Carmina Ray, uh, TLB Mallorca, um, St. Crispin's Classic last, etc. Uh, or size down one full size from your Allen Edmonds US sizing. So US 90, you would take a UK 8. Of course, if you're on a more advanced price tier, for example, let's say Katiana Girling uh, or Antonio Macariello, Stefano Bemer, usually you should size down half because those tend to run narrow. Really nice model. Um, you can not have enough chaka boots in your wardrobe as a modern man. They're perfect for a nice quick stroll. They're easy to put on. They age wonderfully. They look good. Chinos, jeans, you can do pretty much everything you want. And um, thank you for uh, joining me in this four-part series, which has reached its end, but uh, the content continues. And I would love to hear in the comments down below what uh, you think about the whole collaboration, about this model, about anything else, and of course, about this sort of new setup that I'm trying this time. If you're new to the channel or you haven't, 
Remember to subscribe, leave a like, uh, press the notification button, and uh, I'll see you hopefully in the comments or in my email. But before we go, we have a bad dad joke. I bought a Jack Russell dog from a blacksmith the other day. And when we got back home, it made the bolt for the door. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this four part series. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.